Dragon Yule Fatherhood, episode one. Uh, Fidon and Fidon and Felix? Squeak! Squeak! The decorations are looking great. Well done, you two. Squeak! Squeak! Oh, absolute what? Oh, he can communicate with them? This Dragon Yule tree is stunning. We didn't celebrate Ilian festivals in our homeland, so this is all quite new. It would have been nice, though, to have a day set aside to spend with loved ones. <laughs> Squeak, but we're your loved ones. Oh, oh <laughs> of course you count as loved ones. Don't you worry. Wow, I just read the... Uh, turns out I can speak dragon, too. Yes. Nothing else. I should be thankful for the chance to celebrate the occasion with you both. Come on, let's bring it for a group of... Uh, what, what should be your voice? Thank you for helping with the decorations, you three. Putting up on such a large tree can't have been easy. Oh, it was no trouble. These two actually quite enjoyed the process. Process? But if I might ask... Why are you dressed like that? His Highness asked me to deliver presents at St. Starfall. I shall be visiting the towns and villages nearby, so I thought it wise to try the outfit on before I left. Ah yes, the Patron Saint of Dragon Yule. Yes, I like the Patron. Uh, his sleigh is driven by reindeer, right? Squee! What's that? You two want to dress up for Dragon Yule as well? I'm sorry, but I don't think they make outfits in your size. Oh, I'm sure I can wake up us something. Consider it a Dragon Yule present. Would you like one as well? You will make quite the dashing trio. Um, oh, well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Splendid. St. Starfall and Ranger, then? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you, Cleo. Yeah, apparently everyone can... Uh, it was really great of you to make outfits for all three of them. I can't wait to see how they look. They should be finished changing soon. Uh, here they are. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Goodness, they are adorable! <laughs> Two little Saint Starfalls, huh? I love it. Sure, but what about the reindeer? I was promised reindeer. Look no further. Many thanks for- Oh, dang, he looks kind of hot. Exceptional outfit, Cleo. Hold on, you're the reindeer? Oh, thought it for sure be the little guys. Nonsense. Saint Starfall is a star of dragon -eater. So it's only right for Fitton and Felix to fill the role. Besides, St. Starfall needs a strong reindeer to pull a sleigh, right? Surely there's no one better suited to the task. And no, man, I'm pretty sure this is just another dragon daddy thing. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> you two look terrific. Oof. What is it? Mm <laughs> what was that? It was meant to be a reindeer noise, but uh, I guess I need more practice. Oh, I thought he was like kissing them or something, like or like giving them a hug. Like, mm <laughs> Right. Make sure to thank Cleo for your outfits, you two. It was great, squeak. Heh, <laughs> you, you are more than welcome. So, uh... Do you three want to help deliver presents too? Eek. That be all right? They seem queet, queet. Quite excited at the prospect. I know English. I would be happy to share some of the presents I was set to deliver. Shh, let's see. Oh, wait, uh, okay. I don't know who this is about. This is nonsense at events. Uh, dragons did not play at being Saint Starfall. Was that? Is it Xander? Okay, oh, never mind. Um, Amine. Uh, bestowing presents 
to people is the job of people alone. Child of Miracles. Amane. Or is it Amane? Amane. I'm gonna go with Amane. What's wrong with a dragon being Saint Starfall? It's too dangerous, obviously. I tried to give you a chance, Amane. But I won't let you affront dragon kind in my presence. Whoa there, you two. Easy. What's gotten into you, Amane? <laughs> I just... I, I st 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 stop this madness, alright? Hi. Jeez, what's her deal? Uh, uh, oh, I forgot her voice. Um, I thought her distaste for dragons long behind her. Yeah, it seems like a while since she flew off the handle like that. Mm. You alright, Zane Breed? Yes, I'm fine. I must remember she lost her family and home to dragons. She has her reasons for acting the way she does. Do you still wish to deliver presents? If so, you'll need to leave shortly. Mmm. All right, we'll go. Are you sure? Some people may be scared of Fidon and Felix, or refuse gifts from them. Oh, <gasps> but I'll be there to speak on their behalf. After all, if I baby them forever, they'll never grow. Oh wait, they're baby dragons. Bleak, bleak. <laughs> Very well. I wish you safe travels. Uh. Perhaps I was a bit too harsh. Hmm, what's that? Uh, th they're still going? Cleo, why didn't you stop them? Calm yourself, Aminate. They won't hurt anyone. I know that. It's not the safety of the villagers I'm worried about. Ah, now let's dash away. <laughs> That is my best horse impression. Squeak, squeak. 